Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Mr. Campbell from MrCampbellRocks.com and today we're gonna to be talking about all things moat related. We're gonna talk about what moat is, how you can install the Google extension for Chrome, the pricing for moat. It is a freemium product, which means there is a free version, a paid version, and then an extended version. I'm also gonna to talk to you today about how you can get a 60 day free unlimited trial, either when you click on the link below or when somebody else clicks on your affiliate link. They're doing a great job of trying to get people to sign up. You can get up to almost two years of free unlimited moats if you have 10 friends that sign up. We're gonna talk about what Moat looks like in a Google Doc, a spreadsheet, Google Slides, and on Google Classroom. So let's get started with all things Moat. So in order to find Moat, you're gonna to go to the Chrome Web Store. So search for Moat. So once we get to the Chrome Web Store, we're going to click Add to Chrome. We're going to add the extension. It's going to pop up right here. I've already had it installed. As we mentioned earlier, this is a freemium product. So let's look at some of those prices here. So you'll see here when you get to the Moat pricing page, it's going to ask you for teams, for teachers, for school pricing, different things like that. It's free. With the free version, you get 30 seconds of recording time. You have all of these options here. As an individual, if you want to get the essential one, you have these options. But if you want to get the transcripts and the Moat book and other math and scientific notation add-ons with Moat, you can pay $40 for the entire year, which is about $3 a month. Or what you can also do is have people sign up with your Moat link, or you can click on this link right here below to get 60 days free of the unlimited. Once you sign up for Moat, you're going to get an email, a welcome email, and I'll tell you a little bit about what Moat does. There's gonna be some gifts here showing you how to work it. It's gonna to talk to you about pricing. It's also gonna to talk to you about how you can share your own unique link, which I've shared with you. You can get your own link and share with your friends or people at your school and get up to 600 days of unlimited Moat. That's almost two years of Moat for free if you have other teachers in your building or other teachers that you know that want to sign up. So this is the welcome email that you will get. An introduction to Moat's settings. Once you've installed the Moat Google extension for free or a freemium, you come up here and you click on the little M, you're going to have some options. It'll show you which version of Moat that you're on. It'll show which account that is connected to. It'll show your recent Moats that you've actually recorded. It'll give you account details here. It'll show you what level you're on, how you can upgrade, how many you've recorded, when your trial ends. It'll allow you to turn on or off the extension. You'll have a settings page which will enable voice transcription. You can turn that off or on. You can enable STEM mode here. Turn that off here and it will show your activity and engagement. This is connected to your account. So this will show you who listens to the moats that you have created and the ones that you've recorded. You can make them public, hidden, or delete those moats. And I will show you why you wanna manage those later. So if we click on right here, modist, no activity yet, and unmodist, you can see the information here. Again, we go into the settings and our moat history by clicking the M right up here in our extension toolbar. So let's jump right into a Google Doc and show you how moat works. This is how to add a Google moat to a Google Doc. There are two ways. First, you can highlight the text that you want to leave a moat with. Click add comment. You'll see the little moat icon there. I'll show you how to do that in a second. The second way is by going up to the comments icon here, then click on comment there. You'll see here I have these two options to add a moat. When I just click on the moat, it's going to start recording instantly and I can leave my audio feedback for student, teacher, collaborator on this document. It's recording live. You'll see that it's counting down my time here. 
When I click on done, this will change to a pencil. I can then click on that pencil. Click on the moat. It's going to start recording instantly and I can leave my audio feedback for student, teacher, collaborator on this document. It's recording live. You'll so we're gonna exit that note. We're going to add another note, and this is what we call a quick note. It's something that's pre-recorded that I wanna add regularly, and I can save as many of those as I want. So, when I type some new text, and I wanna add a comment here, you'll notice that I have the little M again, but what I'm going to do is I'm gonna hold down and it will give me the option for a quick reply. A quick reply is something that I have already recorded. Maybe I need to add more punctuation here. Maybe I need to add more details. Maybe this is something that I'm regularly teaching my students or, or going over my, with my students that I need to remind them about. When I click on quick reply, you'll see that it automatically puts in a recording that I recorded previously. So when I click on the pencil, This is a moat audio note in Google Classroom. You'll notice right down here, it, it explains what that moat is. This moat is saved in your moat book as a quick reply. Click and hold down the M icon to access your moat book. Rename by clicking save as. And I can change that here. When I click save, you'll see that it'll give me more information here. If I click exit here, I can cancel, I can cancel, and those moats are deleted. Now let's see what this looks like in Google Sheets. Moats in Google Sheets are very similar to Google Docs. They work the exact same way, except the information on the page is going to be a little bit different as far as how it's set up in your Google Sheet. Again, you can highlight the text or you can highlight the entire cell. So when I add comment, you'll see that I have the option here. I don't think I quite understand what's happening in cell A1. Can you please explain to me what's happening in this cell? Once again, this comment has left those that come and listen to the comment. I don't think I quite understand what's happening in cell A1. Can you please explain to me what's happening in this cell? I can also add a quick reply here. When I click on comment, I can hold this down. I have quick, quick reply and more. Quick reply I created for a Google Doc, but I can click quick reply and it'll automatically add that same quick reply right here on the Google Sheet. Again, we can listen to that here. This is a moat audio note in Google Classroom. So I will save that here. The next, we're going to show you how to use moat with slides. Using Moat with Google Slides looks a little bit different than Sheets and Docs, and that's because of the way Google Slides is formatted. You'll need to give Moat a few more permissions to look at your slides through the images and the text. When we click on either a text box or an area where we could put text, either here, 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 or here, we can add a Moat by clicking on the Moat button. A dialog box will appear. Once we click it, we will start recording. This is a Moat audio recording in Google Slides. It looks a little bit different than Google Sheets and Google Docs. To stop recording, we click here. To play it before we insert, we can hit play. This is a Moat audio recording in Google Slides. It looks once we're done, we can insert that right into the Google Slides. This could be used as feedback or for a presentation. You'll notice down here that we have a little moat icon that then, if I wanted to resize this tool, I could resize this and place this in the actual presentation. 
The great part about this is you can actually narrate your own slideshow that you're presenting to students or have students narrate their own slideshow that they're turning into you. Not only can it be used for feedback, but it can be used for audio within a Google slide presentation. Again, once we hit this, we have the option here to play that audio. This is a Moat audio recording in Google Slides. It looks a little bit different than Google. To delete it, we just hit the delete button. Using Moat in Google Classroom, very similar to Sheets, Docs, and Slides, but this information is available when you have an empty box, whether this is feedback, whether this is assignment. Once I click right here, it's going to start recording. You'll notice that we have the 90 seconds because we're on an unlimited plan. It's gathering my audio right now. I could give audio instructions. Once I'm done, I can click done here. The students can then listen to this transcription. It's going to start recording. You'll notice that we have the... If we had a conversation, if there was other students in here, I could add that information as well. To delete this moat, I can just delete this. You'll notice if I also start typing in here, the option to leave a moat is gone. So if you want to leave a audio moat, you need to make sure that this cell or this place to type, this comment section, is blank. If you'd like to get 60 free days of moat unlimited, use the link right down here. And you could get another 60 days by sending this out to teachers in your building or friends that you know that use moat. You can get up to 600 free unlimited days by having 10 people sign up and install moat. Thank you for watching this video all the way till the end. And thank you for what you do for kids on a daily basis. If this video saved you time, energy, and frustration, go ahead and like, subscribe, and share it with your teacher friends. You can subscribe by clicking up here, or you can watch another video either here or here. Again, I love you, I appreciate you, and I'm glad that you're here.